across to Berlin now, where we're joined by climate activist uh, Chitran Jan Dubé. Uh, we've heard uh, Greta Thunberg come out and say that, you know, these leaders are going to come out, they're going to make big statements, big commitments, but when they go back to their homes, they're not going to act on these statements and commitments um, that they're making. Do you share the same feelings with her? Completely. So I completely agree with her, and she's spot on. And uh, we have to look at the data also. Let's talk about uh, this pledge by these rich countries that they are going to contribute $100 billion each year to developing and poor nations so that they can invest in clean energy. That never happened. This promise happened in 2009, and still they are falling short. They are not even spending or giving $50 billion each year. So that is one. And in the G20 summit, also they failed to commit that until 2025, they are going to give this. That is one thing. Second part, this Paris Climate Agreement, where everyone committed that we'll try our best uh, with some, of course, concrete plans that will keep this global warming under 1.5 degrees Celsius, which didn't happen. Looking at the data, again, rich countries or even many major developing countries, the kind of like uh, the carbon emissions they are throwing in this nature, we are very far away from reaching that target. And recently, the UN also said, like, it seems the kind of lifestyle we are living, the kind of environment we have created, the kind of economy we have created, we are on the path to reach 2.7 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. So, I once again, I will say I completely agree with Greta. This is going to happen. 2.7 degrees Celsius. What does that mean for our planet? Where are we headed in terms of how the climate is going to directly affect us and treat us in our daily lives? Okay, so uh, many scientists are saying, like, with the increase in one degree Celsius, one billion people will be displaced. So let's put in context. So when I say 2.7 degrees Celsius, or let's say 3 degrees Celsius, around 3 billion people on this planet will be displaced by the end of the century. So we will see billions of climate refugees, floods, more floods, more droughts, and also lots of wars and conflicts, huge tension, increasing racism, nationalism. So we will see a pure mess on this planet. So it's we are entering in a very, very dangerous zone. And it's going to be a complete chaos. And this is the only decade where we can do something substantially and not only talk, but to do some actions on the ground so that we don't reach and move towards that pure catastrophe. Right. It all kind of comes down to whether these leaders are going to put global interests over uh, national interests here, Chitranjan. What do you think needs to be done urgently? What's the first move these leaders need to make within their own countries to uh, reach uh, that goal of bringing down temperatures? Okay, so first of all, of course, in uh, climate movements or in these climate talks, we also see there is a like you know element of nationalism. We, we can't deny this. Every country is saying that they're doing good or they haven't done so much carbon emission historically, so they should not do this or that. But I think each country, first of all, they need to move away from this corporate profit. So the, the, the biggest problem is the profit because millionaires and billionaires have huge lobby in the parliament in every country, and they are the ones who are calling the shots. So that's the one thing, like now, the, our political leaders in each country, they should focus more towards the humanity, towards saving ourselves, like, you know, all the species, nature, and not protecting the interests of a few elite billionaires. So I think that is the most crucial thing. And the moment the politicians, like they're cut off completely from the lobby of these massively influential, like rich guys, I think the problem will be solved. All right, Chitranjan Dubé, climate activist for us there out of Berlin. Thank you so much for joining us on the program and sharing that insight with us.